On Sunday, we saw another mass protest against over-tourism in Palma, Mallorca. <laughs> Mallorca is Europe's most popular holiday destination with millions of people, especially in the summer months, July and August, coming to the island. Many of the protesters carried placards protesting against higher rentals and high property prices, making tourism responsible for the higher costs. And I think the point really is missed here, that high rentals and higher costs are a global problem higher inflation and the reason why the rentals are so high and increasingly becoming more unaffordable for lower and medium sized incomes is that the laws here on the island are very much weighed against landlords. According to official statistics there are about 650,000 dwellings in the Balearic Islands while the population during the past 10 years has risen by about 100,000 to 1.2 million. The real problem is that a lot of these dwellings are empty because landlords do not want to risk the uh, tenants from going into arrears with their rentals or illegally occupying these properties because the landlord has to continue paying for the utility costs even if the tenants are in arrears or are destroying their property. This uh, makes it virtually impossible for landlords to evict tenants who are in arrears. But these protests are having an impact and already some restaurants and hotels are reporting lower a turnover for the months of June, some by up to 20%. Now, whether this is related to the tourist protests or the protests against tourism, we don't know yet. But the mere fact that the protests are getting international attention is medium long term going to have an impact on uh, tourism in Spain. During the past seven years that I have been living here on the island, I've never faced any type of animosity from local people. To the contrary, people have always been courteous and nice. The silent majority, I think, is very much aware that tourism is the major income generator and creates most jobs on the island. So there has been a, a group that has put up a website calling itself We Love Tourism Mallorca. And they point out that the problem of over-tourism is very complex and they call for a dialogue with uh, protesters who are unhappy with uh, over-tourism and the sustainability of tourism. Quote on their website, uh, the situation is complex and many variables come into play, which is why we cannot demonize only tourism, especially since it is the main driver of our island's economy. It would be useful to analyze more parameters and to take into account other perspectives. That is why we want to send a message of support and affection to all our visitors in light of recent demonstrations. While these protests were taking place, members of this group were distributing stickers with hearts on them to uh, tourists. Just to quote from some of the comments in my last video on the protests, I wouldn't visit Spain. I don't want to go where people despise you. Go where you are welcomed and appreciated. Go somewhere else simple. Watch the U-turn when the cash dries up. And does anyone care? Spain is just one of many countries in the world and most Brits have been there many times before. And here we have another one. I for one will not go to Spain again.
or I won't be going anywhere I'm not wanted. And then a question from a worried mother. My daughter is on her way to Spain now. Does she need to worry about this? It does paint a picture that possibly the majority of uh, Spanish people are opposed to uh, tourism, which is not the case. The bottom line here is, can I still visit Spain? Is Spain still a safe country? Of course it is. And there are many places, not only in Mallorca, but in other areas of Spain that are by far not overpopulated by tourists. Just take the northwestern parts of Spain or the coastal areas from San Sebastian to Oviedo or the uh, vineyard areas in Rioja or Galicia. They are lovely towns and uh, remote coastal areas that you can still visit and you will certainly be welcomed by locals who are by far very courteous, kind and will be happy to serve you in a restaurant or a bar. The uh, situation in Mallorca is slightly different because the island has in many parts reached a limit of the number of people who it can sustain over the busy summer months in July and August. And the main reason is this here. We have an acute water shortage in many regions. I just got this notification uh, the day before yesterday from the local council that we will be having water restrictions as from today. We can no longer fill pools or water our garden plants because of the dry weeks we've been having here. And the other problem is that the nature of tourism on Mallorca has changed. In the past, tourism was mainly concentrated around the major hotels along the coastal areas. But in the age of social media, the more remote and quiet spots on the island that were known only to locals and residents have become more popular. We need more sustainable tourism. This is the responsibility of the government and the industry. Protesters should not be targeting individual tourists going about their business and wanting a nice holiday.